seemed like I got that that guy up in the window there. Yeah, got him. What a shot. Thanks for the loot. Welcome to the video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're doing well. And today we're going to take a look at Survivor Games for DayZ. And a lot of you here should remember the official Survivor Games tournaments, one of which I took part in. And it kind of kicked off or escalated the Battle Royale genre in games about the same time as Player Unknown's Battle Royale did with Armor 3 or Armor 2. I can't remember which it was a long time ago, but they were about a couple of months apart from uh, their birth into the gaming world. And here we see Survivor Games make it into DayZ standalone as an official mod. You can now play this by launching the DayZ launcher. And above where it says play DayZ, you can see play SG Survivor Games. Just click the SG button. Once in game, select your region, solo or duo, and then press play. Now, queues can be quite long at the moment, as I don't think, even though it's open to everybody to play that owns DayZ on PC, not many people know about it. Apologize, the gameplay is not going to be that great that I'm going to show you, but we're going to have a good overview of everything, the changes from standard DayZ gameplay to Survivor Games gameplay, what has been simplified for the Battle Royale experience. And of course, as always, keep in mind that everything you see in the Survivor Games thus far is very much work in progress, as it is in Alpha Phase currently. I will leave links to the official Survivor Games Discord in the description below and probably pinned in the comments. So don't forget to check it out for all the latest information and sometimes tournaments are set up by the community. So I hope you enjoy. And we're gonna just leg it because uh, I tried a, a, a fight. I tried punching somebody, didn't end well. I had like three people ganging upon me and uh, I had a bucket and then failed miserably because I didn't have a gun, wasted too much time. There we can see the green balloon, which is our zone that we're in. We also have a map. We can see the white line is the zone around uh, where we are. So we've got to stay in there. Uh, I believe we take damage if we're outside. But it's uh, quite nice that you've got that aerial kind of signal to, to say how close you are to the center of the zone, kind of. So I've been away for a while, as you know, so I apologize if I get anything wrong because gameplay seems to have changed slightly in survival games, like bullets, for instance. Are uh, that they, you don't take them out of a, out of the box. They they just you just use the box instead of ammo out of the box. So that took me for a while. Like couldn't figure out how to get bullets out. Took me ages to figure out how to get bullets out. And turns out you just use the box. It's crazy. So the way meds work has changed. You bleed and things like that. But it's always good to. Uh, To keep all these medications on you and in your hot bars, in case you need them. Uh, let's sort these out in our hot bar. So if we take our magazine out, actually, before we uh, carry on, I'm doing this live commentary, by the way. Probably can probably can tell that. If we do that and then combine that box, it's just the box. That's it. So it's a lot quicker. Cuts out a load of animations. And if you're using something like a rifle, you can just press R, apparently, to, to load. I think that's in the uh, main game now, though, as well. Press and hold R. There we go. Press and hold R. It swaps the uh, magazine out. It's pretty cool. A lot easier than using our action bar for everything. So, yeah, of course, we can see, uh, going back to the meds, uh, the, the, the white health bar, bottom, bottom right there. So I, th I think if I remember rightly, churches are kind of like a hotspot for loot. There are certain hotspots. You also get the uh, the crash sites and uh, vehicles you can loot as well, which is in between the zones as the transition happens. We'll grab that because we're going to need it. Multivits. I can't remember. If it, was it multivits or painkillers that, that heal you as well? So it's very similar to other, other Battle Royale games where you use you know, your items to heal, your painkillers and things like that, or bandages and saline bags to heal even more. So, infected seem to be a lot of them, but if you're sneaky and crawl around, you can get, you can get away with a lot of uh, shenanigans 
if you stay low and quiet. I'm probably at a disadvantage as well due to me running to the outskirts, smaller towns, and uh, not actually going into the center of town with construction or better loot, because it sounds like there's some, some Mosins going off possibly down there, some rifles definitely already. You can see those red and green pillars down there. That's the edge of the zone. There's our zone there. That's the exit and entrance to the next zone down there. I, I, I should be safe up here, though. Just want to find a bit, a bit stronger firepower. Really? Before I uh, push in too far. Keep an eye out for smoke. Smoke over there, actually. Got two and a half minutes before we should start taking damage. So if I can make it to that drop, if nobody else is already there, before I get into the zone, we're good. So let's go take a look. Okay, it looks like we've got a van. My heart's already going... Guys, this... My heart's going like crazy. Adrenaline. That was it. Loot on the floor around this thing, or? Oh, shit. Let's get up this tree line and get to safety. It's got shot out by a Mosin. It must be near that house. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I did have a few more games than that and made it all the way to the end. Now, the end game, I'm not 100% sure on, as you have to get closer to the end piece of smoke coming from the objective to take less health. But you still die slowly. You just die slower if you're closer to the objective, which kind of I can see how it would draw people together. But if somebody like the person who I was playing in this match had a lot of meds, they can just camp somewhere and med up, med up, med up and hope the person that's waiting just dies because they've not got enough meds which was the case with me i was waiting right at the objective and just i just died because i had no meds left from from trying to survive fighting players and things like that in, in this game so i'm not 100 percent convinced on the end game for survivor games yet but like i've said it's work in progress and i'll try and get a, a q a or some kind of interview done with the survivor games developers for you ladies and gentlemen soon i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you peeps next time Fucking motherfucker, bitch. <laughs>